All right, this one's gonna be on uh, Fanfic Fair. It's a uh, ebook downloading tool. So it's kind of like YouTube DL if you ever use that. Um, but this is like the YouTube DL of ebooks. So it's gonna basically rip out whatever the story is from a website. And uh, they have a few websites that supports here. So I'm gonna do a dash S here to see a. I'm gonna pipe into a uh, pager here. But uh, I did find some Naruto stuff here. Now this one supports, you know, um, adult sites too. So it's not just, you know, regular uh, stories. They do have like adult sites here. Uh, that's mainly what I'm going to use it for. But they do have fan fiction here. And this one's uh, Naruto anime here. And if I open this sucker here. Right. Uh, some of these people, they just, uh, if you ever use like DeviantArt, this is kind of like the DeviantArt of... Uh, you know um stories here so people actually generate these stories and you can actually go and read it on their website or if you want to just download it or rip it out you can do it with this program um so let's say for example we have this url here right we're gonna copy it and uh we're gonna open what was that the uh, fanfic fair here and that's it we're just pasting the url right and by default, you know, I'll put it to a um, EPUB file. So you have this EPUB here. And um, you can change the format. I think they support Mobi and I think HTML and maybe PDF too, whatever. But uh, EPUB is the default here, right? And we're going to do, um, if you have a, a EPUB reader, we can actually use a ebook viewer here. And we'll open this sucker here. And you know you can see this is the ebook here. So you can see that that's the title. That's by the author. Um, what was the next one here? So you can see it says disclaimer, disclaimer. You can see it, the idea. So basically, it rips out the um, the chapters of the ebook and all that, and I'll put it into a ePub uh, format here by default. Real easy, right? Um, they do support other websites here, so let's go check out another one. Or that one down here, they have um, Husa, which is basically if you ever watch, um, what was that movie? Um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Hero, or um, or my favorite, The uh, House of Flying Daggers. Uh, Husa is kind of like shonen anime, but this one's by the Chinese. Anyways, they have a lot of uh, USA in here, and you can actually download them. But these ones are like not complete. I mean, they do have a completed section here, but some of these ones are not complete. And so, like the author would like release it every uh, week or maybe you know month or whatever it is. And the chapters are really really long here, right? Really long. Um, so if you want to download one of these or like rip it out and all of that, um. You know, it's kind of annoying to follow the chapters, but in this program, they do have an option uh, for that. So let's say, for example, we do fanfic fair here and we'll do a dash H. We're going to pipe into a pager here, but you can do a dash U here and the dash U um, will basically, you know, download the new chapters. If you give it the same URL, like let's say you download right now and then a month later, you give it the same URL, it will actually update the chapters uh for that book that you're reading and all that so that's what i do when do a dash u and also since this book is like really long we can do a progress bar also so a dash p here all right so that's what we're going to do here real simple uh so i'm going to get this url here i we're probably not going to be finished downloading this we, i'm just going to cancel it out but i'll show you how that works here so we do a fanfic fair dash u for updating it you know the url uh, I mean, for like new chapters, like every week or whatever it is, you, you're going to run it later. I'm going to do a dash P here for progress. And that's pretty much what we're going to do here. And then we can see it working if we see like a progress bar. So we're going to wait for a little bit here. And there you go, the little dots. Those are the progress bar. And that's how that works. Um, although we're not going to download it because it's like how many chapters is it? Too many chapters. They have different volumes too, like a volume one. Oh my goodness. Anyways, that's how that works. So you want to do that. Now, if you want like a, um, 
a uh, GUI solution and you're using Calibre already, you can actually use Calibre uh, to automate this too because they have like a built-in plugin that you can, not a built-in, but you can actually download the plugin here. You go to Preferences here and you go to Plugins and in here, if you uh, go to Get New Plugins here and just look for Fanfic Fair, you can filter it out here if you want. I already have it installed so it's not going to show up there. But after that, you might have to enable it, I believe. I forgot I did this a long while ago. But you go to here, and you either enable or disable it, right? And then apply it. And then you have to probably have to restart your Calibre program. And after that, you should see it up top here. It says Fanfic Fair here. And basically, you just, um, you know, um, tell it what URL you want to download. So that one here. Or let's we go this. Um, that one was too long though. We're gonna do this Naruto one again here. But let's say for example, we'll do that Naruto one here, All right? And by default is like EPUB, but you can change it to Mobi if you're using like uh, an Amazon uh, e ink reader, right? Uh, but the thing with that one, if you're using Mobi, um, they don't have the options for chapters, so that's why uh, EPUB is your preferred one because um, I think EPUB is like open source and the Mobi one might be proprietary and all that. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. You can do for new chapters or whatever it is. Um, that's pretty much it. So you can paste like in multiple URLs, not just one. You can do like multiples and all download all at the same time. But anyways, all you do is hit OK. And it should uh, do its job here. All right? It has one job running at the bottom there. So we'll wait for that um, to uh, finish. And it'll actually add it to your caliber, you know, library here. So this is the story we just downloaded, and we can actually read it too if you want. Let's open that again here. So there you go. This is the uh, ebook that it processed, ripped, and put into our caliber library all in one step there. Anywho, that is the program. Pretty cool. If you want to read, um, you know, people's, I believe people's like generated um you know stories some of them might be translated too so who knows one of those so if you want to do that there you go the command line way or the gui way with caliber that'll be it for this one